Mike Nelson has finally gone full Savtard. So Blind Justice focuses on a petition for remonstrance, which Kurt Pendergrass uses a lot in his legal ramblings. You know how many times this has actually worked? The answer is zero. E-Clause, which is Kurt Pendergrass and Chris Hallett, those people, those two are con men. Their legal documents never work. Kurt Pendergrass and Chris Hallett are wannabe lawyers. Chris Hallett brags about having a notary license from Ohio, even though he lives in Florida. And if you ever read any of Chris Hallett's legal documents, they are sovereign citizen gibberish. He asserts that Sharia law has been used in the United States. It hasn't. So Mike Nelson is putting his faith in a felon. I put a link to Agent 19's video on Kirk. And if you're curious, just Google Field McConnell and see how well Kirk Pendergrass's advice worked. Just the short of it is Field was extradited from Wisconsin to Florida after spending literally weeks in jail. He's currently under house arrest. Again, Kurt Pendergrass's legal ramblings don't work. So Mike spends a lot of time in this video talking about who he's contacted. He's contacted the DA, state investigators, FBI, ACLU, the state legislature. Now he's even trying to get the judge, Chris Freeman, impeached. So what is more likely? that the entire legal system is against Mike Nelson, or he's just wrong about the ADA and the law. If he was such a victim, there would be lawyers lining up to do work pro bono, or there would be lawyers lining up to sue for ADA violations. There's a reason why lawyers don't take his case, either for free or for a big payday, because he doesn't have a case. He's making sovereign citizen arguments. And I really don't know why. It's probably some type of Mental illness, perhaps? I'm not sure. The fact that Mike Nelson, for whatever reason, is he's just now a sovereign citizen. The questions that he has, that he seems to have answers for, even though he's wrong, all of these questions should be directed to his lawyer. But evidently, Mike Nelson thinks he knows more than his lawyer does. Because obviously his lawyer doesn't agree with this sovereign citizen nonsense. Otherwise, he wouldn't, having to go to sovereign citizens like Kurt Pendergrass for bogus remedies. So Mike Nelson's arguments are false. He will never be allowed to enter a courtroom with a GoPro, ever, never, ever, ever. And no matter what he asserts, he won't override the court. And again, if you're trying to win a court case, it's best not to antagonize the court. Uh, in summary, Mike Nelson is now a sovereign citizen. The court will not accept this nonsense. His best course of action is to listen to his actual lawyer, take a plea, and stop believing that the ADA makes, above the, makes you above the law. Again, the ADA does not make you above the law. I still think when his back against, is against the wall, Mike Nelson will take a plea. We'll see. Dread it. Run from it. Destiny arrives all the same. Mike Nelson has three court dates coming up. Maybe 60 days in prison will convince him that being a sovereign citizen is a bad idea.